Harrison coming to you from Cloud Expo in Santa Clara, California. And I'm joined today by Andy Kicklater, who is the Senior Technical Marketing Manager of Cloud for NIMSOFT. Welcome, Andy. Thanks, Erin. Glad to be here. Thanks for being here. So tell us about NIMSOFT and what you guys do. So NIMSOFT is a monitoring solutions company. Um, we have about 1,000 customers. About 600 of them are enterprise customers from large financial institutions. Um, down to you know, smaller enterprises, and about 400 of them, the mainstay of our customer base, are managed service providers and other types of service providers. Uh, through those service providers, we have about 10,000 enterprise accounts that are managed. Um, they use our solutions to monitor and manage everything from their servers, their network, storage, um, applications, power. <laughs> it's a, pretty much a complete list of everything that's available in their environment. Okay, we were talking earlier about um, this term, uh, unified monitoring. Tell us what that means in the cloud. So, yeah, our, our slogan there is unified monitoring from the data center to the cloud. So, what that means is actually we have everything that both connects you locally inside your data center and um, can connect you into cloud environments or um, be used in a cloud environment to power the monitoring environment that keeps up your service levels, your performance and availability inside of that monitoring, inside of that cloud environment as well. And I understand you were recently acquired about six months ago by CA Technologies. How's that been going? It's going great. You know, um, you can think of the acquisition in the same way as you can think of uh, EMC acquiring VMware. They kept them as an independent company and business unit and uh, you know, funded them to go grow and do the things they do best, and that's what CA is doing with us as well. And what are you hearing from your customers, and since you've been at Cloud Expo, um, you know, what's the buzz been at, on the well, show floor? Well, it seems as though people are really, uh, as opposed to last year where they were just looking to go implement Cloud, a lot of customers are now actually implementing it. They have real projects in motion, and they're putting it into use both inside their organizations, if it's an enterprise or a private cloud, or building their own public cloud offerings. Would you say that security is becoming less of a concern or it's being addressed anyway? Um, security is always going to be a concern, both for people inside an enterprise and for their public cloud environments. It's one of the, the three big things that comes up whenever um, enterprises think about moving to the cloud. It's security, performance and availability. Those are the three that come up right away. Um, so no, that's not going away, but as, that's especially important for regulated industries, um, for ones who have compliance requirements to go along with what they're doing. So you know, that requirement isn't going away, but a lot of cloud providers are starting to provide the, the certifications for their data centers and their infrastructure, uh, which can show customers that they have a secure environment. And then it's up to the customer to decide what workloads belong in a cloud environment versus back inside their data center um, based on what kind of security and availability is there. The market's become pretty densely populated with new entrants since about a year ago. Um, how, how do you differentiate yourselves? How do you stand out in the crowd? Uh, well, NIMSOFT's offering really spans a couple of different spaces. Um, we, we start with a complete set of data center collectors. So I mentioned that a lot of our customers are service providers. This goes from the mom and pop shop that manages the local financial institution and the, their servers or the, and the local supermarket in a small town um, up to you know, some of the largest um, cloud deployments that are out right now. So these are people like Rackspace and Softlayer and uh, One in One in Germany um, those are all NIMSOFT customers as well. And we uniquely have an architecture that allows them to implement quickly, have a very lightweight um, footprint in their organization, add extra value-added services. Uh, a good demonstration of that is out at SoftLayer. They're actually using our monitoring services to be able to offer different levels of service at different prices to customers. And now, there's just nobody else out there who can quickly implement, um, have the right footprint and the right coverage for a cloud. Um, and uh, you know, that's how we distinguish ourselves from anyone else who's looking at cloud monitoring. And of course, uh, there are 
organizations offering just monitoring from a cloud location as, so, sa, as a software as a service mm -hmm. application, we have much more coverage and offer the same um, features for an on-premise solution as you'd find in our SaaS uh, online solution. So it's you know, really unique. Andy, what would you say is the biggest trend that you're seeing now that you think will continue into 2011 and beyond in terms of cloud adoption? Well, um, right now, for 2011 and the, the next couple of years, I think private cloud implementations are the big one, biggest one. Um, especially for enterprise customers, those are, are the first place they're going to feel good about getting started with this elastic kind of infrastructure. And it's the least threatening to an IT department as well. But it comes with special challenges. Um, one thing that's really happening this next year is that uh, what an analyst would call a converged infrastructure stack, like a a VCE V-Block, um, which is pre-built. It's a, a set of hardware and software with all the pieces you need to plug it in in your data center and get a private cloud running immediately. Um, those are becoming very popular solutions. It, it turns out over the last um, you know, two years or so as a result of economic conditions, um, people have consolidated, they've downsized, they've virtualized, and all their infrastructure is busy. So where are you going to put that cloud when you're ready to implement it? And the answer is often turning out, out to be these converged infrastructure stacks. So one of the things we've done to address it is that we built a, a specific solution around vBlock um, that allows people to monitor everything from the physical layer um, to the virtual one and then all the applications that run inside it. It's really powerful because otherwise, you know, it's a big black box, almost a data center in a box. Um, you haven't grown up your networking management and monitoring, your application monitoring, your virtual monitoring over time, as you do with the data center. And because it's a black box, you really can't see inside. So there's a real problem in being able to maintain availability and fix problems when they happen um, without that kind of a solution. All right, well, thank you very much, Andy. All right, thanks. I've been speaking with Andy Kicklider, Senior Technical Marketing Manager of Cloud for NimSoft. I'm Aaron Harrison, coming to you from Cloud Expo in Santa Clara, California.